go ahead and get back. Let me go ahead and set my timer. Oh, well, it should have set that already. But we're going to go ahead and set the timer and continue on with the training. Now, um, oh, one more thing I want to show you all. In case you're wondering who's talking to you, let me show you a few pictures of me. Uh, I'm an older guy right now. Most of these pictures are going to be young, young me as a young man, but that's me back in 1980 something. Yeah, that's me. That's me DJing. I used to DJ, y'all. Okay. Back when they had records. See that? That's the actual record. Okay. That's me and a friend of mine. We're at a party. Okay. That's me at uh, prom. I graduated in 1980 something. 1983, actually. But that's me and my prom date. That's me as a young man. Uh, that's my mom's car, a Cadillac. She had a Cadillac at the time. Okay. Uh, that's me in college, actually. College picture. Prime picture again. What I, got? I need to flip these pictures. Let's see. Um, how do I rotate that? Rotate. There, okay, there we go. All right. Rotating. All right, there we go. And let's go through a few more pictures. And, I'm, and you're probably saying, why is this guy showing us pictures of this? You know, we, we need to start building some apps. I know, but it's just kind of, you know, break them out and, you know, just let you know a little bit about me, you know, and so forth. That's my daughter. That's my cousin. That's me working at CPI Photo Finish back in 1980-something. And let me go ahead and whiz past these. That's one of my cars. That's me in one of my cars. Turntables. But I want to get to some pictures with... uh. Me looking more up to date pictures. Okay, that was old pictures too. Where are the Where are the new pictures? Okay, okay, that's one. Yeah, that's me back in 2005. Okay, and that's me at home looking at something. <laughs> but anyway, these are more up to date pictures. Okay, now um, what I used to do before I started. Uh, internet marketing. I used to um, be a school teacher. Taught school for eight years. Went to college. Got my degree in elementary education because I knew I wanted to be a teacher. And I started teaching school. Taught school for eight years. Substituted for like four years. And then you know I started doing some internet marketing stuff uh, by listening to a man called Stephen Pierce. And from there, you know, the guy showed me how much money he's making on the internet and everything. And I said, well, you know, I need to start doing this. And so that's how I started doing internet marketing. And now I'm in the app space. And that was the quick story. Okay. All right. So, but once you go ahead and get the green app machine, uh, you're in business. Okay. So we're going to the next phase. And the next phase is... Um, I felt this is this is this is much needed. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, learn how to set up your computer to start building apps. Okay. Um, I set my computer up just strictly for building apps, and I have templates strictly for building apps. And the way you do that, uh, for me, as you see here, you notice usually that your uh, your Windows. Uh, I guess it's the taskbar usually at the bottom, but I like mine at the top because I don't like looking at the bottom. So what I did was, you know, I just moved this to the top. You can unlock it somehow if it's locked. Oh, okay. And put yours at the top. That's if you want to. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I just moved it to the top there. Now you can see it. Okay. All right. So that's one thing I did. Okay, I put the icons that I use mostly in the taskbar. I'm constantly going to my browsers, so I got those up there. That's my video. That's iTunes. That's my screen capture. I'm sorry, oh, my uh, image resizer. That's my screen capture. My fact, let's move this over here. Okay, that's my videos. Look at videos real quick. That's my Snagit. That's used for images. And, uh, yeah, so you know you want you you want to make your uh, app building environment comfortable for you, okay? You definitely want to do that, especially in your browser, okay? Now, as you can see in my browser, I use Google Chrome and I also use uh, Firefox, but I have folders. These folders 
link to all the sites that I use to build my apps. For example, this is my app code training folder. Okay. And here is all my app code trainings. These are my developer accounts. Uh, published to Android, published to Amazon, published to GitJar, published to Opera, and so forth. This is how I find my niches. Okay. These are all my uh, sites that I use to find my niches and researching. Okay. Keyword tools. This is how I use to find my keyword tools. So when I'm doing my keyword research, all I do is go to this folder, right click, and open all bookmarks. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do that shortly. Okay. Now, when I'm building, after I do my keyword research, I find my images to make my icons and my splash screen. Okay, so these are all the sites that I use to uh, look for images uh, that are Creative Commons free and that I can use, you know, for commercial use. Okay, uh, very important there. I'm going to touch more on that shortly. These are other app builders. Okay, because I need to go open up some more app builders. These are my green apps tabs. Where I use to build my apps, and the way I have these set up, you know, you can you can go through your apps and build them real quick, okay? Just by just open up all these tabs and just going to work. These are my advertising networks, okay, and so forth. So, uh, and what I'm going to do as as I go to these uh, folders, I'm going to uh, let you go ahead and copy. Uh, or you may stop the video and copy all of the sites that are on here so you can make your own folders. This is just how I do it. This is how I speed up the whole process, okay? Um, and real quick, if you don't know how to make a folder, let's just say um, I'm trying to make a folder and I'm going to use an example site. Let's say, um, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, and by the way, this is... Uh, this page right here is called Incredible Start Page. Okay, so you might want to uh, add that to your Google Chrome also. Um, but let's just say uh, ClickBank. Okay, I want to add, I'm going to just say um, all of my, I want to make a folder for this. So let's just, first of all, let's bookmark it. Okay, and let's see, we're going to go to, let's see. Uh, choose another folder and I want to go to new folder okay so I'm put a new folder and this is going to be under developer accounts okay test folder okay so I'm making a test folder just show you how to make a folder and then I'm going to save it and so now I made that folder and that folder I think I put it on developer accounts didn't I or did I? No, I put it under. Where did I put that folder? Okay, better yet, let's do it like this. I put it under test folder, which would be under. Uh oh, where did I put the folder? I thought I put it under developer accounts, and I guess I didn't. Maybe I did. Did I? Uh. Okay, I put it under publisher Samsung. Okay, but I didn't want it there. But there, there's the test folder, and there's uh, the link, the test link, okay? But what I want to do is, suppose I want to put that folder in my bar here. I can put it up there. So whenever I open that up, you know, that'll be right there, okay? Or I can move, I, I can move it anywhere, actually. I can move it down here, you know, put it there, you know, and so forth. Or I can put it under my, under any other folder, that way it'll be a subfolder. I may want to put it under my developer accounts. Okay, so I just drop it. Oops. Let's see. Let's just put it under there. Drop it. Then it'll be a subfolder. And that's one thing with Chrome, you know, is it's it's not as versatile, in my opinion, as Firefox. But anyway, that's how that goes, okay? So anyway, and you can put it here. You can put the folder any way you want. Okay. All right, so anyway, let's delete the folder. Let's just show you how to make your folders. But you make your folders for your different uh, different uh, websites. Here's all my email accounts. I have that there, okay? Different app stores, Google App Store, Windows Phone Store, Amazon, and so forth. So that's how I uh, I organize. And, and part of doing this thing, part of doing this game and doing it quick, making these apps, pushing them out is 
being organized. That's with anything. Okay, you got to be organized. Okay, all right. So that was the next step. Get get your um, get your uh, get organized. Okay. So now let's go to the next step. Um, I already have uh, in mind the app that I'm going to build. Okay, but just to show you how I do it, let's see me. X that out and X that out. Okay, but just to show you how I'm going to do it, um, I'm going to go through the whole process. So let's go to um, niche selection. Okay, these are how I choose a niche to uh, build my app. Okay, I think I told. Well, I did tell you in the, in, the, in uh, one of the previous videos how I find different markets okay uh, uh, be it uh, video games be it celebrities and so forth these are my links to Amazon okay where I find video games this is a uh, this is a valuable website to me right now uh, as you know the new Xbox one game is coming out these are the games that will be on the uh, Xbox uh, uh, games list. So anyway, let me just open this up, and I'm just going to briefly go through each one of these. Um, let's see. Well, first, let's uh, let's close a few tabs here. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that one and close that one. Okay. So I'm choosing a niche. I'm trying to find out what I want to make my app on. Let's open all these up. This is what I do. So I'm going to open them all up, and Google's going to ask me, do you want to open all those tabs up? And I do. Okay. Now, if I already know what I'm going to uh, use uh, for my niche, um, you know, I, I wouldn't open them all up. But just say I'm looking for something, you know, I'm going to open them all up and find out what's hot and what's not. So I'm going to pause the video and let this do its thing. Okay, and we're back. Okay, now I must tell you, it took about five minutes for all these tabs to open for some reason. I don't know whether it's my internet connection or not, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, okay, let's uh, that's my let's see, okay, that's my chart there. I'm gonna I'm not gonna go to this right now, but here's a site Yahoo where you can uh, do searches for different niches. Okay. Uh, I haven't used this in a while, actually. Find some interesting apps, okay? You can find some apps that are already on the market, okay? Let's see. Uh, um, Candy Crush. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Candy Crush Saga. Let's just say we want to find out some Candy Crush Saga. Some information about that, okay? Uh... This looks like this is the Android market, okay? So you can see some different Candy Crush uh, apps out there. May give you ideas, okay? Also, Google Trends, okay? So let's go to Google Trends. Um, you can see what's hot right now. The Man of Steel. You may you can make a uh, app for the Man of Steel. Uh, so far, that's fifty thousand plus searches, and um, you know, want a little bit more information on that? Okay, well, we're not going to go through that. But anyway, that's one way. Find the latest trend. Another way is to go to Google and search for this. Great app ideas for 2013. Let's do a search on that. And you can see some app ideas. Okay. In addition to, you know, the ideas that I told you how, what I use. Okay. App ideas, best place to find awesome apps and so forth. So you may want to put that in your folder. Okay, Kickstarter, which is a good place to find niches. Okay, see what people you know are looking for. Okay, and so forth. I don't use that too much, but that's just something to add in your arsenal. Okay, Yahoo Buzz. I don't. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, let's see, Candy Crush. Let's see. Let's try something. That is a. Uh, get what page this is. Nah, anyway, we'll come back. Okay. 
uh, the PLI store where you can get uh, free content in most cases free content some of you have to pay but these are ebooks that you can make apps out of okay uh, aging for seniors you know do the keyword research for that animals birds okay you know you got the whole angry birds things going on so you may make one you know make some bird apps whatever so forth but that's where you can get some content from okay uh, movie insider this is valuable these are up and coming movies that are coming out and you can make apps for these if you know a movie is coming out you know uh, within the next 90 days put an app up okay that that that's real hot because um, actually if you go to the app store I mean not the app store I'm sorry that's Apple to the uh, Google Play Store if you type in you know, up and coming movies you'll already see that there are apps up for those movies um, real quick I'm gonna show you something let's, let's just say um, let's say Let's move that up there. Uh, I'm just going to type in Man of Steel, even though it's already out. Let's see. Man of Steel. Okay. All right. Let's see, let's see what we get. So you got wallpaper out now. Okay. You got live wallpaper, Man of Steel. In fact, it's 197 results. Okay, you can still get in that market, especially when you do the keyword research that I show you. If you want to get in that that market, get your app ranking high above these, you can. Okay, this looks like the same guy actually, and it is. Okay, so he's getting all that traffic. Okay, um, with my Injustice uh, Guys Among Us app, I have two Injustice apps actually. One is Injustice Characters because that was a hot keyword that they were searching for. In the Google Play Store, and one of course is Injustice Gods Among Us, the uh, fan app. So that's a good thing to do. Okay, put put uh, multiple uh, um, apps. Now this is Warner Brothers. Now Warner Brothers are very very strict on their trademark. They don't want you to use their name. So I'm surprised that this is up. You know, Man of Steel right there. That's copyright infringement. Now if it said unofficial man of steel live wallpaper you know they could use that but it's certain things you cannot use uh, a trademark uh, man of steel I don't know if that's trademarked or not but you know Warner Brothers Warner Brothers are known to come after you for trademark infringements and then we'll talk a little bit more about trademark infringements as the need arises okay but I just want to show you that real quick movies uh, where were we at? oh yeah movies okay let me close this up okay so movies to be announced 2014 Let's look at some movies okay uh, 2014 movies look at that so you X-Men Oranges again Deadpool Journey the Flash movie okay that's coming out in 2014 okay look at these okay January 14th February and so forth matter of fact you can go you can go as, uh, as far as uh, 2015 movies Okay, you may want to go not go that far ahead though, but you can. You know, it's out there. Snow White and the Huntsman two. You know, uh, Popeye, Star Wars, another Star Wars, and so forth. But these are up and coming movies that you can. Oh, I've seen Fantastic Four, reboot. Okay, so those are up and coming movies. Okay, it's another site to find niches. Okay, let's go to free eBooks. These are free eBooks. E Matter of fact, my Hercules app. I got from here okay uh, I know the movie Hercules is coming out so you know I, I really can't use too much content for the movie first of all because I don't want to infringe on trademarks and second of all because uh, it's not that much out there but there's Hercules here in the uh, free ebooks so I use that I use that as a as a way to get into the using the Hercules keyword okay uh, the AdWords tool of course I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. List of Xbox One games. Okay. You know, of course, the Xbox, they don't know when it's coming out. <laughs> uh, but it's also known as the Xbox 720. But anyway, these are games that are coming out. Now, guess what I did? You know, one of my apps is, guess what? Call of Duty Ghosts. Okay. And so far, I've got a Call of Duty Ghosts Intel app. Okay. Got 913 downloads so far. Okay, so that's a market, and actually, I'm telling you, I'm telling you my bread and butter right here.
but that's okay. Okay. Um, these are the games that are scheduled to come out for the Xbox One. Okay. So you may want to make a uh, app list of Xbox One games. Okay. All right. So let's go to that one. Okay. This is the uh, PlayStation 4 games. Okay. List of all. These are confirmed PlayStation 4 games, that which, which uh, they are definitely going to make an app for these. Okay. We got Call of Duty Ghosts again, so forth. So that's how that goes. Okay. This is one you want. Video games. Okay. Um, not so much as video games. I want uh, up and coming video games. Monday. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's what. Is that what this is? No, it's not. Okay. Let me X that one out. Coming soon. This is what you want. You want the coming soon. So, uh, coming soon video games. Madden, 25th anniversary, August 27th. Okay. NCAA football, Saints Row, whatever that is. Okay. These are coming August 20th. Okay. That's like uh, today is uh, June 14th. So, that's coming up soon. You may want to put an app up for that. Deadpool, okay. Uh, I believe he's a comic book character, so that may be hot right now. Coming out June 25th, okay. So that's another way. And like I said, I use that. This is how I find my injustice guys among us, okay. Uh, I'll be looking on time here. 20, what? Okay, okay, 19 more seconds, okay. All right, so when this expires. We're going to go ahead and can pick it up. Okay. Uh, actually, we're going to keep going, actually. So that's going to ring in a minute. But anyway, coming soon video games. Okay. And I think this one is the Xbox One. Okay. All right. So uh, with that, Xbox One, we're going to continue on PlayStation 4. Okay. Pre-order Central. You can find out games that are already pre-ordered or games that you can pre-order. Okay. So... People always want to be ahead of the pack, okay? So this is one way of uh, getting ahead of the pack, finding out uh, video games that people are pre-ordering. And really, anything that, that people are pre-ordering. It could be clothes. It could be, you know, books or whatever. Just pre-order, okay? Minecraft. This, this I've got my Minecraft app, okay? I can show you that. It's right here, okay? See that? Got 11,000 downloads from that. And uh, actually, I had named my app originally Minecraft Xbox 360. But like I said, um, I got a takedown notice from the uh, uh, game uh, creator. So I had to change that name to unofficial Minecraft Xbox Pro. Okay. So anyway, that's another way. Last 30 days. Last 90 days. Games that are out. Okay. All right. Let's move on real quick. Um, well, those are notes for me. Kickstarter again. So I have to take, I have to uh, delete some of these apps. But here's another uh, up and coming movies uh, site. 2013 releases. Okay. So, uh, reality show. This is something I just thought of. I said, uh, you know, reality shows. You know, not too many apps on those. Uh, Duck Dynasty. That's that's a reality show. That's my fact. That's my favorite show. That has an app. Okay. But that may be something you can get into, you know, put up an app for reality shows. Matter of fact, I have one for I Yala Fix My Life. Okay, not, not getting too many downloads from that app, though, but, you know, um, you never know. And this is another place where you can get content. Okay, audio content, too. Ebooks uh, and so forth. So uh, that's that site. Um, keyword tool, I can take that off eBay, real hot. Just find find a niche, find a niche, decorative arts. Put that in the keyword tool, find out what comes up. Then put it in the app store, find out what comes up. Okay, and so forth. So, like I said, you know, you may have to stop the video to get all these sites and put them in your folder, but you know, that's okay. So, that's just a uh, uh, few more ways that I pick my niches. Okay. And it's part of my niche research and niche selection. Okay. Um, and what you can do, what you can do if you're just starting out, like as you find something you like, put on a notepad, open up a notepad and put on a notepad, you know, and do it like that. 
now for this I already know uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do so um, you know I'm not gonna do that right now so anyway I'm gonna see you in the next video where we'll get to uh, doing our keyword research for our niche and our ni the niche we chose is um, well the niche I'm going to use I've been seeing this a lot actually oh my computer's running slow oh boy okay but anyway I'll see you in the next video